Unreal 5 vs Unity 2020, Round 1. This will be a two-round fight. Round 1 will be divided into categories, giving points by judging each software fairly by the merits and facts that have been released on the future versions of their respective engines. We also use the current state of the engines as a baseline when it comes to facts that haven't been expressly stated or released to the public. The categories for round one are graphics, physics, programming, features and tools, learning curve and ease of use, and cost and royalties. Programming and scripting. When compared to programming in Unreal 3 or Unreal Development Kit, which had its own programming language, Unreal Script, it's easy to see how many longtime Unreal developers rejoiced in Unreal 4's new C++ scripting language and architecture. Though it does still bear similarities to its Unreal Script forefather, programming in Unreal 4 is far and away easier than in UDK. Not only that, but Epic has made huge strides in placing easily accessible documentation and tutorials on programming, not only within the engine, but even altering the engine source code. With Unreal 5, Epic seems to be continuing this upward trend of making their engine more accessible for both artists and developers. Epic was one of the early pioneers of introducing visual scripting with a tool called Kismet, which was integrated in their Unreal 3 engine. Though not as robust as its Unreal 4 counterpart, Blueprint, Kismet was surprisingly powerful and was integral to introducing the industry to a way of creating simple and complex gameplay and gameplay events without the need of writing code. Blueprint helped bridge the gap between artists and programmers when it comes to game development, allowing for artists or designers to create and implement gameplay elements without the need of having to constantly rely on programmers for things such as prototyping or creating simple game mechanics or events. So it should come as no surprise that one of the most requested features for Unity is some form of visual scripting language, much like Unreal's Blueprint. Fortunately, this is something that hasn't gone unnoticed by Unity. Originally announced last year, and in both the Unity 2020 Alpha and Beta release, Unity looks to implement its own visual scripting toolset. That being said, when it comes to writing code without the aid of visual scripting, Unity C Sharp is far more forgiving and easier to learn, especially for those of us without a programming background, than Unreal C++. The debate on which language, C Sharp or C++, is better has been around for ages, long before their implementation in either Unity or Unreal. Both C Sharp and C++ are perfectly suitable for game development within their own right. This is why, in most cases, for experienced programmers, it all comes down to which language you're more comfortable with or have more experience with. That being said, Unreal 4, and from what we've seen and heard, Unreal 5 as well, uses a heavily pre-processed version of C++. So even if you know the nuances of regular C++, you'll need to relearn much of that to successfully implement it into Unreal. In addition, as revolutionary as Blueprint is, Blueprint code is slower than its C++ counterpart. And while it may seem simple at first glance, Blueprint can be deceptively difficult. Even as once avid users of UE3's Kismet, we can personally testify to Blueprint's very steep learning curve. With a visual scripting engine in the works, along with Unity's much more user-friendly C-sharp scripting language, Unreal 5 is going to have to make great strides in lowering the learning curve for both their visual and written programming languages if they ever hope to contend with Unity in this category. This point goes to Unity. Which programming language do you think is easier? C Sharp or C++? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification to be the first to see the next video.